Hey, 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 welcome back, guys. This is Jive Goblin, and we are playing some more XCOM Enemy Unknown today. Let's hop right in, and we are going to go to Mission Control. Pick up right where we left off. Now, here at Mission Control, you'll see uh, it's kind of like the world. You know, spin around, see these different areas. And what you can do right now, our only uh, influence is here where our base is in South America. And this is kind of how you progress time in the game. You're going to come here and you're going to click on the scan for activity. And uh, you'll see time starts advancing. And it'll just keep going until you either stop or it uh, encounters some kind of event. So here we have alien abductions reported. We can choose to ignore it, or we can view the abduction sites. I think we want to view the abduction sites. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Now when you when it picks up a mission, basically, uh, it's gonna come in here and there are three different places you can choose. Each one are each one's a little different. It shows you the kind of you know the panic of the area, which if the panic gets too high, if you keep ignoring an area, they'll withdraw from the XCOM project. And I think if eight uh, countries total withdraw, then you lose the game. That's how you lose. Uh, and it also tell you here the mission difficulty and the reward for it so if we did this one it's a difficult mission but we get four scientists if we go to Mexico if we go to Mumbai India it's a fairly moderate difficulty but we get 200 uh, credits you know and here we get four engineers uh, what I think we want to do is we want to just go straight for the money because the panic is higher here than France. I'm not really interested in doing this. I don't want scientists that bad right now. So money is pretty important. Or credits, whatever you want to call them. Sim dollars. Uh, so we're going to go to Mumbai, India. And we get to pick our squad. Uh, something... The only thing I did off camera, this is something I did off camera, is... Uh, the guys that leveled up, our four guys that leveled up, I named them. I gave them names, and that's what we're going to do. Whenever people level up from rookie and get their first level, we're going to name them, give them some kind of special name. And there's a theme to all the names. We'll see if you guys can figure it out. So, let's go to, uh, let's just clear him. Go at it. If you look, remember these two guys were injured. They're still out. He's still out for two days. He's still out for five days. So we'll take our two guys on with us that have leveled up. Sherman and Charlie. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to grab two random rookies. We got this dude with us. Let's go ahead and grab Jake. And we will launch the mission. So we're going to fly over to India. And see what's going on with these alien abductions. We've arrived at the mission site. Begin the assault. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, so here's our mission briefing. Alien abduction in progress. It's clear civilians, but there is multiple hostiles. Collateral damage is not a concern. Well, that's good. Okay, so our mission objectives sweep the sweep the abduction site and identify the threats and neutralize hostiles. Sounds easy enough. Let's 
come in here and drop our team into a cemetery, it looks like. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right, so they just gave us the green light. Let's... Let's take Sherman, our big... Big gunner. Put him down here behind the tombstone. As if aliens weren't creepy enough, we gotta be running through a graveyard to try and take them out. Let's go over here and get some actual full cover behind this. Now let's take our our little uh, recruits, our nobodies, and have them dash up in here. And then we will take our sniper, Charlie Iron Knife. And we want to get him a, a good vantage to look over, you know, a, a good portion of the battlefield. But we want to keep him out of the line of fire. So I think for now, we're going to have him hop right here and hunker down. Hunker down doubles your cover bonus and gives you uh, immunity to critical. So. Oh, here comes some aliens up the left side here. So, we know we have at least two aliens up the left side. I'm willing to bet there's some more probably in here. But we don't want to draw too much attention at it. Time. So let's see what our hit rates are. Now when you have multiple enemies up like this, as you can see, you can just hit tab and it'll cycle through all your available targets. We have 47% chance to hit both of them, or either one of them. So we're going to go ahead and just take a shot on one. He's down. Yeah. Sherman does not play. A sniper does not have a shot. The thing about the sniper is when he first starts out in these low levels, you cannot move and shoot with him. Uh, you can only move or shoot. There is an ability that you can unlock once you level up that allows you to move and shoot, but right now we just can't. So let's move over here, see if we can we'll be able to have a better chance next turn. And we'll run this guy over in the cover here and try and take out that other alien there. So, see if we can get both of these taken out right from the get go. Only two damage. Huh? Fair enough, I guess. Let's dash him all the way over there. All right, so now let's see what these darn aliens are going to be doing. Falling back. Falling back. That's never good. Yep. Over here. I figured there was probably some in there. That's not good. They're trying to flank us. Yeah, they're they are doing a pretty good job of flanking us right now. So we know we have an injured one way up here. We got two guys there. Let's see if our sniper has a shot. Sniper does have a shot, so let's go for the sniper special ability, the headshot, to make sure we take them out. That's only a 35% chance. This is a 55. We're gonna take that so that we can, uh, you know, we have a better chance of actually getting the shot in. So these guys are, you know both being flanked by this guy right now as you can see by the yellow shields so let's take him and have him come over behind this bench and open fire I'm probably not gonna hit him but and we'll take the shot anyway 
We'll have him flip around over here and we'll throw this guy into Overwatch. Well, let's... Who can we see? Yeah, we can see him. Yeah, we're gonna go into Overwatch with him. And let's take him and see if we can't, uh... Maybe run down the alien that ran away over here. Nothing. So we'll throw him in Overwatch, too. And we'll pass the turn to the aliens and see what they're gonna do. Oh, four damage. That, that's rough. I think he's just a rookie. Alright, let's first off see see if our sniper can uh, get the shot in. I'm about to start keeping score. So that seemed to be a pretty good place for our sniper. So now we took them out and now we can kind of focus on tracking down the alien that ran away over here. There's really not a whole lot of good cover up this way. So let's throw him on this side. We'll put him in Overwatch. Oh, you see someone. There he is. We have a 65% chance. Let's just take the shot. Okay, so we took him out. And the mission is not over, so there's still more aliens around here somewhere. So let's try and regroup. So I'm going to dash him over here, get him back in with the group. Enemies we'll take the aliens turn. There's two right there. Okay. I thought I was going to have to go on the other side of the map to look for him. Yes, we, we hear stuff coming that way. We just saw him run over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So it looks like they did that mind milled thing again. Um, let's move... Move up here. I know it's half cover. Let's see if we can we cannot get a shot on that other alien. So I'm actually just gonna throw him into Overwatch. Just as some extra defense because he's a low life. So if something would pop in and try and take a shot at him, he at least has a, a chance to defend himself. Adjusting aim. Let's see if we can take this alien out. Going to Overwatch with our heavy machine gunner. And I think here we are going to uh, get our sniper at the dash up and hopefully get in range of some future aliens. So what are they going to do now? So Doing the mind melt thing, the other guy's still up there somewhere. And that's all they did, huh? So, let's just move on up here. Okay, now we have line to the other alien. Which remember, if we take him out, it takes that one out too. So I'm just, I, we have a 50-50 chance, I'm just gonna take the shot. Oh, we... We did get a hit, but we didn't kill. So. Move our machine gunner up here and we'll throw him in Overwatch. And move up the sniper. Have the sniper hunker down. Now, him. Let's see if we can, uh. Come up here and get another shot on that. Yep. So, let's take the shot, try for the kill, and of course we didn't get it. <sighs> Alright, so they're going to do the mind meld again. <laughs> wonder what they're thinking about. So right here, let's take...
take another shot. Try and end this. Of course. Negative damage. Can't engage. Let's get a little risky. <laughs> See if we can get a better percentage on this shot. Oh man. I'll get Weapons dry. This isn't gonna be good. Unless we could take him out with our machine gunner here, I think we're we're losing somebody. So let's go for it. Nope, nope, nope. Adjusting sights. Uh, let's bring up our sniper, I guess. Not gonna be able to do much, but uh, next turn he's there if we need him, I guess. Man, they're... that's all they're doing. They're just doing the mine meld. And, uh, dead. Oh, man, they missed. I thought for sure he was dead. All right. So, we cannot even take a shot because we need to reload with him and with him. So it's all down to the machine gunner here. Take the shot, hope we get it, and of course we miss again. Man, I feel like we're a bunch of stormtroopers up in here. Alright, let's just see if we can take a shot on him. Okay, we did. Alright, you need to get out of there. So I'm gonna pull you back, and you can go ahead and reload. Ready to engage. And you can reload. It's killing time. This is going on way longer than it should. I'll tell you what. God dang it, Bobby. Ah. <sighs> This is way longer than it should be going. Let's. I'm taking a shot here. Another 45% chance. And we finally did it. I was going to say, if we missed again, I was going to pull out the rocket launcher and just fire a rocket up in there. So we killed six aliens. We didn't lose anybody. We have two guys that are going to be injured. Operation Black God. Huh. That's an interesting mission name. And we'll return to base. And I I can't believe the Excavation all those complete. misses. So let's return to base and see uh see what kind of progress we've made. To the situation. Okay. Commander to the situation. So we have Jake Flores has been promoted. Gravely wounded. 14 days. You were wounded for nine days. So Jake Flores has been promoted. To the heavy class. So he gets the rocket. And so now. Commander to the situation. See our Commander to the situation. The stuff we recovered from that mission. We got six more sectoid corpses and twelve more weapon fragments. Okay, pan see, we we didn't uh, go to North America or Europe, so panic has increased. But we did go to India and we completed the mission, so panic decreased in India. Two hundred bucks. We will be in touch, Commander. So first thing before we go there, we're going to go view soldiers. And he was just promoted, so we're gonna go customize. He's a heavy, so let's see what kind of heavy names we got here. Alright. David Commander to the situation room. Hassle. Commander to the situation room. I know what most of you are probably thinking if you uh, 
haven't picked up on the theme of the names yet, and that is not a reference to David Hasselhoff directly. Uh, I'm pretty sure where this where this name comes from, the character that this name comes from, might have been a reference to Hasselhoff, but this is not a reference to Hasselhoff. And let's just uh, play around with some stuff here. Was that was that Guile hair? Is that Guile from Street Fighter? It's a bit crazy. I don't think we're gonna keep that. So let's just cycle through. Commander to the Situation Room. Just pick Commander a helmet. To the Situation Room. Give him the big old armor. Let's color it up a little bit. Eh, what kind of color do we want him to have? Yeah, we'll 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 be that. That's that's looking pretty good for David Hassel. Okay, so now we're back. We still have three days on our research left. Let's go to the Situation Room. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Now, the satellite room is where you're going to be checking up on most of your stuff. You can see here on the sides, this is all the the different uh, people that are in the XCOM project. And this shows their level of panic. Right now, Mexico is really panicking. They're getting really close. If this fills up too far, they're going to back out at XCOM. Like I said, I think if eight of these back out... We will lose the game. It'll be a failure. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Uh, United States is getting high, and so is France. And you can see here we have a satellite over Brazil, which is where our base is currently. And uh, when you deploy satellites, it increases when we do that scanning on the world. Uh, it increases the area that we can scan. Uh, we will get you know more missions in those areas with the satellites so we can then kind of control the panic in those areas and not only that at the end of a month we get uh the council which runs the XCOM project you know reviews our performance and the countries pay money into the XCOM project and if you have a satellite, they pay you more money. So right now, Brazil is giving us an extra $80 for having that satellite. So here we can launch more satellites if we build them. You know, we have no satellites available. But if we did, this is where we would uh, go to deploy the satellites. Odd transmissions lately. We can Some view our finances. Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. <laughs> Someone's trying to leak information about XCOM, huh? So here's our gross monthly income. Right now we have some ex expenses for our planes and some ex maintenance costs for our facility. So we're gaining 70 a month. And here's the gray market. Several members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Yeah. This we're not going to be using a whole lot right now. But later in the game when, you know, the, the sectoid corpses and stuff aren't as valuable, we can come here and actually sell them and gain a profit off of the materials we don't need. Sometimes... Council members will come in and request missions. Uh, they're usually, you know, deliver 15 sectoid corpses by a certain time or, you know, give us so many weapon fragments, that type of stuff. And this is where we'll come to see which uh, missions and stuff like that the council is requesting from us. So we're just three days in. Not much else we can do. Still need waiting for that. So let's go to mission control. And see we have 26 more days until the council report. Which is when we'll get paid again. And the council will review uh, our, 
our ability to protect the Earth from the aliens. So let's just scan for activity. Ooh. Let's You're see You're telling here. me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Okay. So, they are going to want us to capture an alien alive here soon. As you can see, Wayne Sneedon has returned to active duty. He's all nice and healed up. And we completed this research project. So let's go ahead and assign a new research. Let's see, new objective, capture a live alien. Okay, alien containment available for construction. Okay. New facility available, alien containment, yep. Okay, so priority, arc thrower. This is what we're gonna need to research so that we can stun an alien in order to capture it. Right now it's very slow, it's 12 days. Uh, eight days for that, eight days for that. Sectoid autopsy, instant, begin project. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Okay. Uplink targeting available for manufacture. New items available. See, that's uh, the ability of us being in South America is those autopsies get completed automatically. So I guess we'll just go ahead and begin researching the arc thrower. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Okay. And we're going to go to engineering and go to build facilities. And we're going to try and build the alien containment. Requires five power and $85. We have 22 out of 30 maximum power. We're using 22 so we can, we have power to run this. So let's begin construction on that. It'll cost maintenance 18 every month. Yep, that's fine. On their way to that's going to take seven days. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. And I think while we're here, let's go ahead and buy a satellite. Submit order for one satellite. Not much else we can currently do. Let's go back to mission control and just scan for activity. Okay, UFO contact. Let's scramble the interceptors. Which uh, we have two jets available and they're both exactly the same. So let's send in Raven 1. Our fancy launching jet intercept this UFO eyes on the bandit. and this is just a little screen 
that shows you them fighting each other. And the interceptor shot down the UFO. There's alien crews moving on the site, and we sustained heavy damage. We were about half dead. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay. So now we are going to send a team to the crash site, but we are at time for this episode. So I think we will do that in the next episode. And uh, I know these first couple episodes are kind of slow, you know, not a whole lot of actions going on where I'm trying to explain stuff. But uh, after the first couple episodes of that gets through and we start getting into the action, it's really going to pick up. So I hope to see you back for the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.